Hello everyone, Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I've had a few questions about Pure Eco Silk Finish and how I use it. Uh, I don't normally use Silk Finish, so I thought this was a good opportunity to show you. So the colour today that we have is Pure Eco Macadamia. It is a really beautiful white grey, it's got a grey tinge to it, um, and it's a really, really, really nice. So, first of all, loading your brush is really important. Today I'm using a 38ml brush. These are the brushes that I sell. Uh, they've got a slight curve to them. They're an oval, um, but not quite the ovals that you see other brands have. Really, really good size brush. Um, I've chosen this brush. I know that this section's quite large, but there's four sections on the doors of this cabinet that are quite small. So I've chosen this brush um, just to make it easy on myself. A larger brush for a larger section is obviously better, less brush strokes, um, but this is fine for what I'm doing today. So to start with, I like to just dip my brush in a couple of times, about half an inch to an inch up and I just sort of wipe it off on the sides. That gets all the paint into the center bristles and loads your brush properly. So once you've got some paint on your brush, you don't want a huge amount. I like to start, this has got a lip, and this is one of the questions that I get asked a lot, what's the order that I paint in? So I like to get the lip first and then I smooth it out and do the middle section. That way I find I'm not touching the middle section that I've already painted. Uh, you wanna reduce your brush strokes as much as possible. So you've got a decent amount of paint on your brush. You don't want too much, but you want enough that you can go from one edge to the other. So I'm just gonna turn it so the amount of paint, the backside's got next to nothing on it, the front's got it all on there. And I'm just gonna level that up in that corner and I'm gonna let it sort of pull and then pull my brush all the way along. You can do this as slow or as fast as you like. And you'll see that that has really really well covered that section without loads and loads of brush strokes then i just sort of go back along and i take some of that excess off we don't want to leave the excess there and as you get more confident you can do you can go that little bit faster grab any sections that you've missed and then for the corner down here i load the paint onto the corner of my brush and i sort of just dip it in and push it into that corner and bring it up the other way now if you do get it somewhere that you don't want it if you don't want to tape that's fine give it a wipe with your finger to begin with and then once this is fully dry you can lightly sand that edge and that will be a nice clean crisp edge i find i get a better finish doing it this way than by taping so along the bottom again load it up you don't need heaps so sort of start in that corner and pull it along and use the backboard as your guiding tool. All the way along. And again, just cleaning up the excess paint. Get those little edges if you've missed some. And again, dipping it in on the corner to fill the corner of your brush. Get down in that corner and just drag it out. So you fill that corner in. Wipe any excess off with your finger make sure that you don't leave too much paint in the corners you just want to get it into the corner and again we're going to load our brush i'm going to start up in the top corner that was a little bit too much and you can correct yourself as you go i really like to get it into those corners on the first coat that way my next coat i don't have to stress so much about the edges i can get them done quickly and then I'm good to go. Sometimes you might just need to wipe that paint off, off on your jar and then just reload your brush just to get it back into the right position on the brush. All the way down, down here in the corner. Again, wipe off some of that excess. And I do go a couple of times and just make sure that I get it nice and neat. Don't stress about that, that will sand straight off. It is easier to sand with, silk fin uh, with chalk finish than silk finish, but silk finish, it's fine as well. So you don't need stress as long as you're cleaning this up within a day or two. You don't wanna leave it the full seven days because it will be harder to sand. Uh, you can hit it with an electric sander, it'll make it that little bit easier, but ideally you wanna be doing it 
just by hand, nice and quickly. It's only a small edge and you just use a medium grit sandpaper. So across the top, always make sure you get those top little corners. Nothing annoys me more than having those not filled in. And now you can see we've sort of cut it in. Now you've got the choice. You can either use your brush to fill in your middle bit or you can roll it. It's up to you. I'm gonna use my brush. Again, I'm just gonna load it, start from one side and work my way to the other. So top to bottom, bottom to top. Again. And by having those edges already filled, you can see how I can just smooth out that paint and get a really nice, clean finish. And you wanna have enough paint on your brush, just like that, to go from top to bottom comfortably without lots of this, okay? So you wanna go nice and smoothly, and that way you're going to reduce your brush strokes and you're gonna result in a much nicer overall finish. Now, don't stress if you miss bits. This is why we do multiple coats. This piece was painted originally in a white enamel paint, which you can still see little bits of. Uh, I have taken all of that off. It was in very poor condition. I have given it a light sand all over. And then I have given it a really good clean with some hot soapy water using Pure Eco's Lemon Myrtle Cleaner. So prep super easy for this one. I'm painting over raw timber. I don't have an issue with adhesion. I'm not concerned at all with this bleeding through. So I'm fine to use silk finish straight on the board. If you're concerned with bleed through or adhesion, use Pure Eco Basin Blocker. Pure Eco Basin Blocker is highly recommended um, for silk finish just to help with your adhesion and with your coverage. As you can see, the coverage of macadamia is excellent. So once this is dry, I'm gonna go in with my second coat. If it still needs a third, then I will do a third. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're using Pure Eco Silk Finish with our 38 mil paintbrush. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you ever have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you and have a wonderful day.